record now. Okay, just to um, uh, um, summarize what I said earlier, every day people show me businesses. Aside being a genuine business, I have to look at the earning potential, how much I can earn. And number two, I have to look at the residual income system. So as I was saying earlier, there are many other companies in network marketing field where there is a condition to earn. Some of them, they will tell you, oh, you've accumulated 1,000 points. Like some of us here, we have, we have so many persons on our left or on our right. So we have higher legs either on the left or on the right. And guess what? Those people there does not disappear. Let me explain. Assuming my head is your own account. So I always love to you know, use this as an analogy. If you don't know how to draw our genealogy, being, at the head, being creating a head, then you have a left and you have a right. A, hand, a, a right. I want us to do this way, as if you are boxing. I want us all of us to do this way. Do this way to yourself, with yourself. Do this way. And I want to tell yourself, I have a hair. You shake your head. I have a hair. And I have my left and I have my right. <laughs> I'm going to do that again. I have a hair and I have my left and I have my right. All right, good, 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 good. All right, so you can drop down your hands and let me not be the one to continue, okay? Now, as you have it now, people coming into your business, they're coming into either your left, they register either your left, on your left, or they register on your right. And sometimes you will notice that people maybe on the left, they are much more than people on the right. So what happens? Assuming maybe you have about 20 persons on the left and you have five on the right. The five you have on the right will match with five from the left and pay you 7,000 times five. But guess what? You still have 15 people left on the left, on the left-hand side. What happens to it? It will remain there till in, as in till the kingdom come. In so many other network marketing companies, they will tell you after the end of the month, if you don't balance up for the left, you will lose everything on the left. So guess what? I have an account that has over 4,000 persons more on the side, on one side. And I will be matching the money. All I needed to do is to focus on the lesser leg and be building it and be creating my matching bonuses. These are the uniqueness of M Global. Okay. Now, um, M Global, I don't need you to buy one product or the other for me to earn my matching bonuses. Did you see that? I don't need to. Are you hearing me? So it's very important we understand the uniqueness of our business. It's very, very unique. I'm telling you, very, very unique. All you needed to do is to build a very good organization that has the mentality of building their businesses, and then you are settled. That's all. The leaders will come. We will develop them. The system is there to develop leaders. What we are doing here in the millionaire school is to do what is to develop leaders. You come in here with a mentality of just being a follower. We're going to transform you into a vibrant and a great leader. Who is a leader? A leader is one that takes full responsibility for his own growth process. Yes, we put you in a mold and then we, you know, we're going to cook you up and then we're going to form you. We're going to need you. We're going to shape you. You come out and you will not just be effective in M Global, but also you'll be effective in your various work. I think I've forgotten the training I did the other day. And a lot of people, we are like, oh, Ingeniano, so thank you so much. God bless you. Some of you, we are here. God bless you for that training. We, I talked about giving less than you can anywhere you are. You are a teacher. And then maybe, and for example, you have a teacher, you're a teacher. And then the other class, you are handling maybe class A. And the other class B, the teacher is not there. What stops you from putting the whole class together and teach everybody, give more value. Life will always reward you in proportion to the what? To the amount of value you're putting out there. But you see some people, they will leave those kids, they'll be running around, making noise. It's not my business, so they are teacher till it comes. That's how people remain small in life. Anytime you are giving value at the same rate at which you are being paid, you will never grow. If you want to grow in life, give more value. The amount of money you earn is directly proportional to the amount of value you give out in life. And then talking about being paid, the amount of money your employer pays you 
is directly proportional to three things. Number one, the work you do. Number two, the need of that work. And number three, the degree of difficulty replacing you. That's the reason why whenever there are going to be a downsizing, who are the people that are sacked first? People that have the kind of work that can easily be replaced. For example, I can easily replace a cleaner. For example, I can easily replace an ordinary teacher. Yes. I can't replace a coordinator. I can't replace a head teacher so easily. So you come into the banking industry, who are the first people to relieve? The people that are working in Dallas. Yes, I'm telling you. So I really want you to understand that. Aspire to grow up in life. Aspire. Anywhere you are, where you are working, aspire to be the best. Aspire to be the best. Never you give the same level of work uh, that you are being paid. If you are being paid for level four, give a level seven service. If you are being paid for level seven, give a level 10 service. That is how to get promoted in life. That is how you attract promotion. I'm telling you, if you don't get promotion that place where you are working, promotion will come from somewhere else. You will leave that company. But let me tell you, life will always fill up that gap. Anytime your contribution in life grows, grows larger than the amount of work, sorry, than the amount of money you are being paid, life will bring it close. It will jam it up. I just gave you the secret to life, succeeding in life. Give up more than you are being paid, and then you will keep earning more and more. People will be wondering, hey, this, this is magical. This is earning so much. Give up more. Don't expect the return to come from that same place. That's a mistake a lot of people make. They want the return to come from the same place. So I've given out trainings as this, and people's life has been changed tremendously. So just know that you are here in the Millionaire School for us to change you, for us to make you to become a leader. So I want to let you know you are in the right place at the right time. And I want you to put your hands to every single thing we are teaching you here. Apply it to the business. Apply it to your business, other businesses. Apply it to the in-global business. Apply it in your family and apply it to your career. I'm telling you. All right. God bless you for being here. I, I want to say a very big thank you to all of you that prayed for my uh, trip back to Oka. It was quite a very, very rough one. I wish there is a straight flight from Joss to Anambra. Yeah, there is no straight flight there, okay? And uh, it was quite very, very rigorous. Left by 6 a.m., coming back around 9 p.m. It was quite hilarious with all the rains and all the bad roads, I'm telling you. But I really thank God for Johnny Messi's. And I came back home, my kids, they were happy seeing me. And as you can see, I'm smiling all the way, okay? All right. You will notice that I will smile better. What do you expect from me? Okay. Why would I smile better? I have my wife here with me and I have my kids here with me. And guess what? I'm not the one cooking anymore. I'm the one being served. Okay. I still cook when I'm at home. Because for example, yesterday when I came back, okay, we have to prepare African salad. I'm the one I can, I'm the best African salad cooker. I'm telling you. How many of you know what's African salad? Wait until you eat my African salad. They waited for, they said, no, no, you will cook it for us with fried fish. So I had to, when I come, when I came back around nine, I just took my bath immediately before 10 30. I was already, the African salad was already there, well garnished. Okay, with otazi. You know what is otazi? Okay, that bitter stuff. Okay, all right. So, so I'm, the, I'm the first person to cook yesterday. All right. So anytime I'm back home, it's always a wonderful thing also to serve my own family too not just to serve other people, to serve them. It gives me joy. I believe that charity begins at home. Anything you will do for outsiders, do it for the family first. That's my own ideology. Anything you will do for outsiders, if I eat anything outside that my wife, my kids have not eaten, I feel so guilty and I'm looking for a way to do what? To get it for them to come and test it. That's how to live a good life, all right? Good. So we're going to have a wonderful time these two weeks. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here with them for two weeks and the day is already counting. Okay, and then after that, I'll be heading back straight to the north. I have some projects in the north to finish up. Good. What I want us to do today is this. I want us to really, um, uh, I want to ask all of us here the question back again. I, I, I've said this before, and I keep saying it. The only thing I'm doing, once anybody comes into this business, I have no business with you other than to get you to achieve your 90 days recruiting challenge. I have no other business with you. See, 
if you are tired of hearing the 90 days recruiting challenge, just tell me you are tired of building the business. It's as simple as that. There's nothing, there's, my first business with you is to achieve your 90 days recruiting challenge. Simple. You come into the business, there is a tax, a 90 days recruiting challenge. So what I want us to do, because we've been talking about this 90 days, 90 days recruiting challenge. So I want to really, 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 really unmute people that are new here. I will unmute people randomly. Madam Rosely Etse, get ready. You are the first person I will unmute. Yes, so I will unmute you. And then I'm going to be, um, I will not answer, I will ask you questions, you answer me, and I'm going to, I'm, I won't respond to your question, to your answer. I'm going to mute so that I won't give people a hint. Okay, I won't give people hints to the answer. You may get it right, you may get it wrong, it doesn't matter. But I really want us to discuss about that squarely today. Okay, let me bring it up in case maybe some of you don't know what I am talking about. You know, if I bring it up now, maybe I should be, um, I think I should be exposing some things. No. All right, so Madam um, Rosely, I'm over to you. Sorry. I want to ask you. Um, in the 90 days challenge, can you tell me what it is? The 90 days recruiting challenge, what is it that is expected of you to accomplish? Okay, what is it about? Um, we are expected to recruit a lot, as many persons as possible we could. Minimum. Um, Minimum of 300 or so. Okay. All right. I hope all of you are hearing her now. You see why I've been saying things about goal setting. All right. Don't no feel shy, Madam Rosely. Okay. All right. So I'm over, for, I'm over to, I'm going to move over to uh, Madam, no, Madam, Madam Asalu Abimbola. Mommy Asalu Abimbola. Can you? yourself ma'am good morning ma yes good morning sir yes mama Asalu. i want to know what do you think the 90 days recruiting challenge is what are you expected to do what are you expected to accomplish at the end of 90 days um i'm expected to bring at least to recruit at least to tell not not less than 30 people in a day okay to tell not less than 30 people in a day Yes, sir. The uh, by, through, by sharing the video or inviting them to the Zoom meeting. Okay. Then within so, the 90 days, uh -huh. I thought uh, we are asked to recruit at least 30. 30. Okay. Uh, I, 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 want, I wanted to watch her language. I wanted to listen to her language because we'll bring it, we'll, all these things, we are going to be, where's my, where my pen? Uh, so we, we are going to be, really be analyzing all of them. I like the way she sounded. She said, I thought... We are told to, okay, there is a, that language meant something, and I will tell you what it meant. I, I thought we are told, we are told to, okay. <laughs> Don't worry, you know, I'm a teacher, okay? Yes, sir. Yeah, and as a teacher, I listen very well. To be a good teacher, you must learn to listen to people and then learn to understand things from the perspective of people. So, Madam Asal said, um, I think I, uh, I we think. are told. told. Mm -hmm. All right, that's what she, she thinks. So, okay, all right. So we're gonna we are gonna look at that, and then Madam uh, Rosalind, Madam Rosalind, I'm actually your response is that Madam Rosalind said, um, I think we should um, talk to three hundred persons. All right. <laughs> All right. So uh, thank you, Madam Mama Salu. I'm coming over to you. Um, oh, the lady, she's not on her phone, on her sound. Okay, over to you, Madam Florence Obenija. Obenija. Madam Florence, can you unmute yourself? Okay, sir. Yeah, Mama Florence, what do you think 90 days, not what do you think, what is our 90 days recruiting challenge all about? What are you expected to accomplish at the end of 90 days? We are expected to recruit at least 10 persons per month to, the, to share the information. We are, uh, we are excited to let about 10 people join the, the, the business per month, making 30, day, uh, 30 persons in the 19 days. Okay. All right. Thank you, Madam Florence. 
Um, I have here Mr. Smart. Mr. Smart, sir, can you kindly unmute yourself? Mr. Smart, yes. yes Good morning, sir. Good morning, my brother. Yeah, so what are we expected to, uh, what is our expectation at the end of 90 days, our first 90 days of the business? Um, I'm not quite sure of what uh, the minimum number of uh, people we are supposed to uh, have brought in now, but I know that we are supposed to work hard and make sure we, we, we bring in as many people as possible. But the exact number, I cannot really say. Okay. So I, I love that we are supposed to work hard and bring in as many number as possible. I like that language, as many as many number as possible. I like that language very well. I, I think it has come up now, but it came, it came from a Rosalind, it came from a you again. I think I like that language. Yeah. As many, as many as possible. You know, just like I asked some of us, how much do you want to end by at the end of the year? You would tell me things like, I want to be very rich and I want to end as main, as much as possible. All right. That is wonderful. So I love that language. Thank you so much, Mr. Smart. Thank I, you. I, 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 I would really, really love us to really answer me sincerely the way Mr. Smart and every other person has been answering. Okay. Uh -huh. um, over to you, uh, Ms. Madam, Li Madam Liberty. No? Okay, Madam Liberty, kindly unmute yourself and tell me. In the 90 days recruiting challenge, when I finish with the first set of questions, we enter the second one. And in the second one, I'm coming back again, starting with Madam Rosalind. All right, so Madam Liberty, what, what is our 90, 90 days recruiting challenge about? What are we, what, what, what are you to achieve at the end of 90, your first 90 days? Yes, at the first 90 days, I am to achieve at least recruiting 30 people, 10 per month, 10 per month. In three months' time, I am to recruit 30. Okay. At least 30. All right. Yes. Thank you so much for being sincere with me, Madam Liberty. Okay. And then uh, we are getting to, uh, moving to uh, King Izuka. No, you'll be mama for this business now. Okay, but let me still unmute you. Uh, Uche, Ayangwa, unmute yourself. <laughs> good morning, sir. Yeah, Uche, Uche, good morning. How are you? Fine, sir. So, 90 days challenge. What are you to achieve? Mm, to achieve not less than I myself, I'm dreaming like 40 people. Mm -hmm. So you say not less than 40. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank so, you so much. Thank you so much, Madam uh, Uche. Okay. Um, I'm looking for Ugu Geraldine. Yes, Ugu. All right. Where are you? Ugu? Um, yes, sir. All right. So your 90 days, what are you expected to achieve in 90 days? Sure. Yeah. I'll I'll make sure that uh, more than uh, thirty persons are being registered within that thirty days. Make sure that thirty persons are being registered. Okay. All right. Maybe two more persons, and uh, we'll uh, move into the second round of the question. I will move into the second round of the question. Mr. Tawe Sale, is, is it Mr. or Mrs., sorry? Tawe Sale, can you unmute yourself, please? Hello? Yes, hello, sir. Uh -huh. Oga, good. Yes, sir. Who is your sponsor? Good, Mr. Tawe. good morning, sir. Yeah, Ms. yeah good. good morning. Yes, sir. Who is your sponsor? So just... Who is your leader? Okay. Who registered you? Yeah. Okay, so you did, sir. Myself. Yes, sir. Who sponsored you? Myself. You yourself, sir. I beg, be on your video. 
Can you be on your video? Okay. <laughs> I need to see that face. Okay. Mm -hmm. Please, when did I recruit you? <laughs> you are making me to be afraid. <laughs> eh? No, you, you say so. You did that a uh, few months back. And you've not been attending meeting. No, I've been, I've, be, I've not been very faithful. That's the truth. Uh -huh. Yes, I've not uh -huh. been very faithful. Okay. No, that's that. Yes, sir. But are you aware of our 90 days recruiting challenge? Very well. I started very well. Very, very well. All Just right, my so. schedule. My schedule has is something else. Yeah. Okay. So what are you expected to achieve in the next 30 days? 90 days? Yes. At least to be able to get at least uh, get at 30 people or more. At least 30. I'm working with 30 people. All right. 30 and more. Okay. Good. 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 Mr. Yakubu Jeremiah. From Gombe. Oh, yeah, Ross. What are you expected to do at the end of achieve at the end of 90 days? I expected to recruit 30 persons and more at the end of the 30 days challenge. And for every one month, we are expected to recruit 10 persons. And we are to share the recorded video to 10 people and tell, invite 10 people to the live Zoom meeting. And to share the recorded video to people one on one. Mm. This man went further to, he, he, he went and started answering another thing again. Yeah? Now, wow, yourself, yourself. Yeah? I, I, I know it's a big book. Uh -uh. I know it's a big book. All right. Um, to recruit 10 persons and more. All right, now, I want us to hear me out. We're going to get to the second question, round of the question. Hear me out. See, you don't achieve greatness by accident. You don't achieve greatness by accident. You don't achieve greatness by chance. You don't achieve greatness by saying, I will do my best. You achieve greatness by setting greatness, great goals, setting great targets, and then doing all that it takes to achieve that great target. Do you know why I'm saying this? Because your mind on its own will always protect you from attempting things that will threaten your safety. I'll say it again. Your mind as a human, your brain, your brain is a record of the past. Past experiences, past feelings, it will always make you to be attempting things, you know, just a little bit more than what you used to know a little bit more than what you used to know. Your brains will never allow you to stretch or rather overstretch yourself. It will always want to protect you from the unknown. So anytime you set, why is it that if I tell you right now, you're going to be recruiting 100 persons in one day. Guess what happens within you? How? How? How many of you understand what I'm saying? Now, why is that screaming within you? How? Uncertainty. At that point in time, you didn't accept it. Uncertainty. Your brain will always work to do what? To protect you. That's why you don't allow your brains to control you whenever you are setting goals. Allow your dreams to control you. I will say it again. Okay, let me make it a little bit more elaborate. Beginning of the year, I asked people, how much do you want to earn this year? They will tell you, I want to earn millions. People that end up becoming more time millionaires and they are consistently earning the millions don't talk that way. They don't talk that way. They are very, very, very specific on what they want. Very specific. And when they are done setting that goal, the next thing they do is they take ownership of the goal. So I'm hearing responses like, 
I think we should recruit 300 people. I think means I have not taken ownership of it. It's still like an instruction. It's still like a suggestion. It's still like what engineer also said, our leader said, you haven't taken ownership of it. You haven't the, 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 the importance of it hasn't, the reality of it hasn't been done on your mind. To you, you think that it's one of those things we are to do to succeed. You've not seen it as the only way to succeed massively. I'm going to tell you something. The 90 days recruiting challenge is a goal set out, laid out to enable you start earning in millions in the next 12 months. Listen to me. I'm not mentoring you to be earning 10,000 a month after one year. I'm mentoring you to start earning millions. And to do that, you are to recruit 30 people. That is what it takes. It's just like someone that says, I want to study medicine. When you want to study medicine in university, tell me what you do, the first thing you do, and you want to take jam. I want someone that will tell me, where is um, my good friend? Oh, she's disconnected. I'm going to ask someone else. Okay, Mr. Jeremiah Yakubu, you're a student, I know. Unmute yourself, Mr. Jeremiah Yakubu. Mr. Jeremiah Yakubu, where are you? Okay, Mama Asalu Abimbola. Maybe you can help us with it. Okay. Now, sir. when someone wants to, I know that medicine is one of the, you know, the courses that have one of the highest cutoff points in jam. When someone says, I want to study medicine and he's about yeah. to take his work and jam, especially jam, what's the first thing he does? He has to pass the work on the science subjects. Uh -huh. Apart from that, I'm talking about jam. Yeah. When you are talking about jam, the courses you will choose, um, uh, you have to choose the courses that goes in line with the, the course you wanted to go and read. Hi, oh my God. I, 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 as, an, as some action of questions is dawning on me that, hi, we really, really need to learn this thing I'm trying to put to us. Because if we don't learn it, we don't, as, we, as in, it will really, really keep affecting us. M Mr. Mr. Tawe Sale, all right? Answer me, please. What's the someone that is taking jam for medicine? What is the what's the first thing he or she does? Well, the main thing is preparation. You know that you have to read abnormally abnormal. Oh my God! Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. As I'm asking those questions, as it is being done on me, that we don't really understand how some of these things as in as in achieving and great results, how it happens. Let me tell us what it does first. Anybody that wants to pass jam for medicine doesn't sit down and study alone. The first thing is this. What is the cutoff point for your jam? You can take many courses. You can take, you can maybe be taking jam to study uh, uh, economics or so, not economics, uh, maybe language. Those ones, 180 will give you a pass mark. In jam, in medicine, we are talking about 300. You must go, most schools will tell you, you must go from 300 and above before they start considering you. My brother, my sister, that is not a normal result. So you have to ask yourself, am I ready to study to score 300 points? Everybody can get admission, but it's not everybody that can score 300 points. Anyone I've seen that scored 300 points didn't score 300 points by chance. They knew exactly this is what it's going to cost me. And they're going to ask themselves, am I ready to read for it to happen? Because you can't, you can't read normal, the normal way. You can't tell me you are studying hard. You must be very strategic with your studying because you know exactly what you are going for. How many of you understand what I'm saying? How many of you understand what I'm saying? How can you, you want to study medicine in the university 
and you don't know the cutoff point of jam. <laughs> You're not going to get admission. <laughs> you, are, you, are, you, are you understanding me now? So it's not a suggestion. Scoring 300, reading hard. Sto see, reading hard, studying hard is not a suggestion. It's not. It's not a suggestion. It is mandatory. And when you are studying, the end product is 300 points because you know you don't hit 300 points, you don't, you're not getting that admission. You're not getting the admission. So, beginning of the year, I asked people, how much do you want to make? Do you know the answer? Most people will give you as an answer. Some of you here, you will answer me that way. I want to earn millions. You don't know what you're talking about. If you stop into millions that year, you will end up losing the millions. Just relax. Someone said, take all the money in this world. Share it among everybody equally. Just wait. In less than one month, the money will get back again into the hands of the rich. <laughs> you know why? The rich knows how to collect back all the money. You can stumble into it and lose it back. You must be very definite on your goal. Very, very what? Definite. There is nothing like, I think I should. I will achieve. I've taught us about goal setting. What is the 90 days recruiting challenge about? I recruit 30 persons and more within 30 days. Simple. That should be your answer. I recruit. Don't tell me I will recruit. I want you to write it down now. Your 30 days recruiting challenge is about I recruit 30 persons and more within 30 days. It has to be an action tense sentence. Don't tell me I will, meaning that you will still say I recruit. I recruit 30 persons and more. Can someone send it to me on the WhatsApp on the chat quickly? Not on WhatsApp, on the chat. Send it to me on what on, on the chat here. Send it to me. Let me make sure you got it. I recruit 30 persons and more within, within 90 days. Let's go. I recruit 30 persons and more. The only person that did it answered it correctly with this sentence is sentence structure is Jeremiah Yakubu. I recruit 30 persons and more. That's me. That's how I set goals. I don't set goals saying I will recruit, I will, is a training for another day. So I want send me a message on the chat. Let me be sure you've gotten it. I recruit 30 persons and more in 90 days. Let's go. Send it to me on WhatsApp quickly. I recruit 30 persons and more. That's how to do it. If you want to be successful, this is your jam. Someone says, what's my jam lesson? Jam cutoff point for Wayek. I'm giving you your jam cutoff point for being a millionaire. <laughs> your cutoff point for being a millionaire. Your gateway for being a millionaire in the business. Recruiting 30 persons and more in 90 days. There are two things we're going to be looking at. After the second one, I'm going to summarize with the third one. I'm, I'm waiting for your messages. I recruit 30 persons and more within 30 days. Send it to me on WhatsApp, on chat, sorry, not on WhatsApp, on the chat here. Send it to me here on chat, quickly. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Send it to me quickly. All right, now, the second set of questions. I'm coming back to all of you. All right, so I will start. Those of you that I didn't unmute, I will now start muting you. You think you can dodge me. You can dodge me. Hmm? I made it to be relaxed by saying that I will go back again to the people I asked earlier. So I made most of you to be relaxed in your mind so that I can get to you, all right? So, uh -huh. 
All right. I'm starting with Mama, Madam Meg. Madam Meg, I'm starting with you. And your question is this. Just answer me. How can you achieve that? There are three basic tasks you must do weekly. Because it's not enough to set goals. How can you achieve it? It's not enough to say, I want to study jam. How do you score? Sorry, I want to score 300 points. How do you score 300 points in jam to be able to study medicine? How? How? It's just like someone that says, I want to pass English language in, 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 in Wayek, and the person doesn't know how to write later. Or, you know, all those later and summary. There's something, there's something that I don't know English language so well. I won't lie to Ross. I don't know why. I don't know. I, I can speak it a little, but I don't know how to write the one that they will give me an A. <laughs> you know, you may know English, but they, they, you must know how to write it to be able to score A or B or C. So I don't know how to write the one that will give me an A. Let me tell you what I did. I just deployed a strategy. I called my lesson teacher in English. And I asked, ma'am, can you tell me what is it that one thing that if I get it well, I must score a C? She said, if you can get your essay writing or letter writing well. He said, really? She said, yes. He said, if you get it well, you've passed. I said, really? I said, okay. I said, can you tell me? I'm a very smart human being. When I was very, as in, I'm still smart now. Anyway, I'm not that smart. I don't like saying that. Listen, let me say this to you. <laughs> I asked the teacher. I noticed that in the question papers, this it said that they asked you to write a letter to you know, your uncle or somebody you know. She said, yes, yes. They will always tell you to write an informal letter and a formal letter so you will now um, choose. And I said, okay. So they will always ask me to write informal letter. Yes. She said yes. And I asked her, and I found out that they always tell him, say you have to write to your father or your mother or your cousin or your, anybody you're related to. She said yes. And I, I asked her, um, is there any difference? She said no difference. So you just anywhere you see father, it's the same thing as mother, it's the same thing as brother. Just, you know, it depends on who you're writing to. It's the same sentence structure. I said, okay. And I said, I want to write about three. And I wrote the letters and I sent to her. She corrected me and she scolded me so bad. And I asked her, why do you scold me so bad? She said, you are mechanical. I'm, I'm, I will never forget that language. She's going to say mechanical accuracy or something. You know, that place, they normally scold people. Comma, we stop. Hey, I can mess up in that thing. I don't know where they put comma. I don't know where they put full stop. I don't know where they put exclamation mark. I can just speak. I can just write. I mean, if you understand what I'm saying. So. She called it, it should be MA ahead, mechanical accuracy. She said your, you said your mechanical accuracy is zero. I said, what? He said, you don't know where to put comma. You don't know where to put full stop. You're just writing, 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 writing. I said, ma'am, can you correct me in this letter? I'm telling us, see, I'm telling us how I passed my Wayek English and then my Neko English. I'm telling us now. I came out with the best of the Wayek in my school then. Okay, but I, I got a C in English. But I'm telling you how I passed. It will teach you a lesson. I, since I learned that thing, I've been applying it in whenever I'm in this very, very tight corner. And she corrected me and corrected me and corrected me. And I kept writing and kept writing and kept writing until there's one she did. She said, mm, you're getting better. You know what I did? I found that the correction was not much. I sat down and I memorized everywhere she corrected me on comma and full stop. I knew I'm the one that wrote the letter. I, I carried the letter on my head. Um, what I mean, I memorize the letter, memorize both full stop, memorize both exclamation mark, memorize both comma. They now, I now entered Wayek. They now asked me the question to write a letter. Is it to my uncle or what? Hey, you know what I did? I downloaded exactly that letter. Eh? And I started correcting myself. Where I'll put comma and full stop, I was using pencil to be writing comma and full stop so that letter, I'll now come back. And then I checked again. I said, no, 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 no. My auntie put full stop here. I put full stop. My auntie put exclamation mark here. I, I, I now started correct, you know, using uh, eraser to remove the full stop and then everything I did because I now correct it again. And then I now put the full stop, the exclamation mark, 
all the comma exactly the way my auntie gave to me. I'm telling you, when I finished, I submitted it. And guess what? I wrote back this, I copied exactly the same letter, exactly what I did, exactly what the word sent to my auntie. My auntie asked me, is this thing what you wrote? I said, yes. I, she said, you have passed. He said, I can't even find one single place where you made error in you. He said, you got mechanical accuracy. He said, how did you learn it? I said, me, learn it. I said, <laughs> I'm a good student, mama. That's how I got a C6 in English. Now, can't you see narrow escape? And I got a C4 in a Nico. What did I do? Very simple. I asked myself, what will it take me to pass? <laughs> Because I don't want to have A's. For the mathematics, A1, maths, A1, chemistry, A2, if it is, then I come to English. D, E, F, all the results, right? I don't want to have that kind of nonsense result. So I asked, what will it cost me to pass this English for, for mathematics, maths? And you know, I, if I coach you in mathematics, I know what you, I know the three questions you will answer in maths you will get minimum B4. I know that one. It runs in my blood. While I was in my SS1, I had the right mass for, for SS3. But English, I had to ask, how will I pass my egg? That's the question. How would I pass my egg? How would I earn one million naira in this business? What is the gateway? How do I earn it? 90 days recruiting challenge. So, okay. So how do I now recruit 30 people in 90 days? What is it that, that I need to do? If I can just, if you can just tell me this one thing, can you tell me this one thing that if I do, I will recruit 10 persons every month. Can you tell me that one thing? That's the question now. So Madam Meg, I want you to tell me, what is that three things I said? If you do it consistently, I'm waiting for, in fact, let me throw up a challenge for us here. If you do this consistently, for 90 days, and you don't recruit 10 persons, I will give you 50,000 naira for all the effort. Three things you have to do every week, ensure that you do it. What is 50,000? I will be making 100,000. Three things you have to do every week, ensure you do it. Don't give me any excuse. Go out of your way. Will it be challenging? Yes. Will it be stressful? Yes. Do it for 30 days. You don't recruit 10 persons, I give you 100K. Don't, don't shut in the number. I need Madam Meg to tell me those three things, exactly as I said it. All right, Madam Meg, over to you. Madam Meg. Madam Meg, you are not there. Oh, Mama Murayo, where are you? Let me get to Mama Murayo then. Hello. Okay, Madam Meg. Hello. Who is up? Hello, sir. Good morning, sir. Okay, good morning. Who am I speaking with? Madam Meg. Okay, all right. So let me let, okay, let me move Madam. to Mama Murayo. So, Madam Meg, now, what are those three things you have to do? What we have to do to enroll party partners, at least. 10 10 per month. Okay. 10 10 per what, month. What are you to be doing weekly? Every week. Week on, on weekly basis. We yeah. have to we have to update our list. We update our list daily. Weekly tax is to send the business video to our contacts. We send the videos to our contacts every week. Mm -hmm. Then we keep updating the prospect list. Mm -hmm. Then we <laughs> uh, you know what? I want to I want to mute everybody to answer and to say whether you got it right or wrong. All right, so then you just the, I, I won't be the one to talk. All right, I will just unmute everybody to answer. I want us, when you unmute us, I want us to answer, is she right or wrong? If you say, I get, I want you to answer, either right or wrong. Are you ready for the voting? 
Are you ready? And every activity, every activity we are planning to achieve must be from our conscious mind okay. before the activity even comes up. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right, sir. So the house, I want us to respond. Did she get it right? No. 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 Did she get the answer right? No. 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 I'll meet, I'll meet us all back again now. So, Madam Meg. Madam Meg. Madam Meg, unmute yourself. Are you there? Unmute yourself now. Are you there? Okay. Yes. Good. At least that will show you that I'm not the only one that is teaching. I need you to be following. You see okay. That? That was not, that's not the right answer to the question. Will you prospect? Yes. Will you update your prospect list? Yes. Will you have yes. to do the business from your conscious mind? The answer is what? Well, yes. Yeah. But just like I've always said, when you want to achieve greatness, you must make it as a goal. And when you want to achieve that goal, the task you are to do must also be set as a goal. We call it goal metrics. You don't just prospect. We have to be prospecting every day. Prospecting every day cannot enable you to do what? To achieve the 90-day challenge. So let me break it down. Somebody that prospected to two people will tell you, I am trying. You can't be prospecting to two people in a day. One person, sorry, two people in a week. And tell me you are you are going to achieve your 90 days challenge. The order of possible. It's not possible. Let me speak the language again. Some of you will normally laugh, you'll laugh about. It's not possible. So let's know whether um, Madam Murayo can help you. All right, Madam Murayo, please can you tell us what are the three basic tasks? Three to All achieve right. the 90 days challenge. You are to do weekly. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, first, first of all, you take your your book, the notes that you've written, the people, 300 uh, uh, people that you want to prospect. So bring them out and you, you, you call them, you invite them. Then after those, 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 then after you do follow up, you call them to, to know their whereabouts, you greet them, and uh, again you ship in your 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 your, your concept of uh, of the calling. Then, The, the feed, let them, let them watch the video, or you, you ask them to come for the, the evening. So I think that I thank you.
Oh, so, so sorry, so, so sorry, so, so sorry. It was obvious that we are not hearing me. My, my volume was low. Listen. The voice is up again. Listen. The reason why many of you, you, beat, you are beating around the bush, you, you are not achieving your goals is because you are beating around the bush. Don't evaluate yourself based on how you feel you are building your business rightly. Do not evaluate yourself based on how hardworking you think you are. When you want to study for jam, what do you do? You go and get the prospectus. You go and get the brochure. You go and get the course outlines. You go and get the topics to be studied. You don't just study randomly. You are studying biology. There are questions you should expect. So I want to unmute all of us now. I want to unmute all of us. And I want you to answer me. Did Madam Muraya get it right or wrong? Answer me. Did she get it? Is she right or wrong? Wrong. Wrong. Is she right or wrong? Wrong. 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 And guess what? Mama Muraya here is one of my leaders, so rising star leaders, and one of the most committed people here. You see what I'm teaching? I want us to listen whenever I'm talking. I want us to really take things I'm saying as they are. You see the reason why I'm doing what I'm doing now? I just have two more minutes to conclude. So I'm going to end it here. Listen. If you are to achieve your 90 days recruiting challenge, there are three things you are to ensure you do every single week. Number one, I share the videos to 10 persons to watch every week. You share it to them. People are not with you. They are very far. You will send it to them. Let them watch it and get back to you. 10 persons and more. Number two, you invite 10 persons and more to our live Zoom meeting. Sending videos to people to watch does not substitute for inviting to Zoom meeting. So I invite 10 persons and more to our live Zoom meetings at 8 p.m. Number three, I share the business one-on-one -on -one with 10 persons and more every week. And I've taught you how to share the business one-on-one -on -one with people. If you can discuss it with them, Play the video with them. As long as you are there with them one-on-one, -on -one, it means you are sharing the business with them one-on-one. -on -one. What does that leave you with? 30 persons is being exposed to our opportunity through you every week. If you want to measure your progress, please measure your progress based on this. When you do this, you will not notice that. Guess what happens? Your full up list is increasing. You cannot be inviting 30 persons per week consistently for 90 days and then not be able to be updating your prospect list. Can you see that? So there are many other things that will start happening on its own because by the time your prospect list has exhausted, what's the next thing you do? You start asking yourself the question, how do I assess more contacts? How do I assess more people? How do I get more contacts to do what? To ensure that they are watching the recorded videos to invite them to the live Zoom meetings. If you want to evaluate how serious you are in this business, ask yourself the three questions. How many persons did I invite to the Zoom? How many persons that attended the Zoom meeting, not invited? How many persons attended the Zoom meetings through my invitation this week? How many persons watched the recorded video from me this week? And then how many persons did I share the business one-on-one -on -one with? And remember, it's not just about explaining it, it's about playing the video with them there and there and get them to take immediate action every week. Whenever you want to evaluate your progress, use these three things. Don't let anybody receive you. Don't let any other thing distract you. If you like, read my first year in network marketing from beginning to the end. If you really want to be truthful to yourself, evaluate yourself based on these three criteria. How many persons attended the live Zoom meeting through you? How many persons watched the recorded video uh, sent to them by you? And how many persons did you share the business with one on one per week? 30 persons. Do this for the next 30 days. That will give you 120 exposures, meaning that 120 persons got to be exposed to our business through you. There is no way you will not hit 10 persons in one month. Try it.
If you think one, 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 one is too difficult, why don't you think about planning organized seminars? Because in a seminar, you can sit 100 persons at once and you can have more than 20 people registering at once. Everything depends on you. You want it one, one, or you want it in multiples. Let me tell you here something very important. The 90 days recruiting challenge, which is about I recruit 30 persons or more within 90 days, breaking it down to the task, recruiting, having 10 persons watching a recorded video every week, 10 persons attending our live Zoom meeting every week, 10 persons, 10 persons you know, you know, having, them, having me sharing the business with them one on one every single week. This we make you to become a professional. It's not just about the money you will be making. It's about being a professional. It's about being, it's about always who you become in the process. That will make you to be a professional. That will make you to be established. When you are, you, if there is any way you, if there is any place you need to mount pressure on yourself, mount pressure on yourself within these 90 days to do this. As you do this, you become a professional. And that's what I need for you to start earning a million every month in this business. I want you to play this recorded video of this life of this uh, millionaire school over and over again. Play it, internalize it. Let it, let it sink into you. That if you are not pursuing, if you are not working towards achieving your 90 days recruiting challenge, you are not building your business. Meanwhile, some of us have forgotten. There are promos that I gave to it. Yes, and I broke down the promo week in, week out. So the month in, month out. And I said, if you are able to recruit 10 persons within 30 days of you joining the business, each 30 days you recruited 10 persons, I'm giving you 20,000 naira. And if you are the first person that did it that month, I'll give you double, 40,000. But anybody that recruits 10 persons within 30 days, for every 30 days you come to the business, you recruit, like this month of September, you recruit 10 persons, I'm giving you 20,000. And if you're the first person that did it this month of September, I'll give you 40,000. Then the rest that I did it, I give them 20,000. In the month of October, if you do it again, if you're the first person that recruits 10 persons, I give you 20,000 and another 20,000 error again. So every month, you can be collecting 40,000 error from Julian also, comfortably. Every month, you'll be collecting 40, you can do it. You can do it. Thank you so much for being here in the Millionaire School today. Don't forget, please, there were some messages I did not respond to yesterday because of how rough the journey was yesterday for me. The network was so, so bad. So I didn't feel like responding to messages I know that will not drop, all right? So please, if I didn't respond to any of your message yesterday, some of you here, copy me on that messages, please, this morning. Don't forget, between now, um, once I'm in the school close by 9 o'clock, between 9, 9 o'clock and, and 10.30, I expect you to send me messages things you want me to help you and do so that I can actually um, do them for you. I start answering those messages from 10.45, 11 a.m. in the morning. So I, that's the time I give out to my partners to attend to all their issues. Um, those of you that have not gotten your username and then your, uh, your passwords, okay? Um, if you're under Mama Agnes, you will contact her, okay? Right away. I think just a minute. Let me open my Excel. I have just, just a minute. And the only names, apart from the, apart from uh, Madam Mama Asalu, Abim, Abimbola, payment, and uh, I think, yeah, and Madam Chinya. Aside the two, the only two accounts I've not activated is uh, Ayabo and then uh, Bolanle, which I am doing now. Okay, Ayabo. And Bolanle, I'm doing them now. Every other one's all your accounts are 100% ready. So please, I want us to start submitting our account details for linking. If you don't have an access bank account, go open an access bank account. The format for account linking submission is on WhatsApp. And if you're sending me details, please make sure your details are correct. Someone made a mistake at the point of linking. They found out the ID was wrong. I have to start correcting ID. Checking my database while I was on the road. It wasn't easy. Please, let's make sure it is very correct okay why sending it down it's very very important very 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 important and if you are here maybe you don't you know what let me just help us fast fast if you are here instead of contacting your leader you've not collected your own username and password madam i've been born asalu you're getting your own this morning for sure all right you're getting your own this morning 
Just these four persons I'm calling now, they are getting theirs this morning. Asalu Abimbola, you are getting your own this morning. Um, did, I, did I say Asalu Abimbola? Asalu Abimbola, you have gotten yours. No, it's Bolanle, Bolanle, and Olaye uh, Eyabo. Then uh, Madam Chinere, uh, Victor. And there is another one person again at the, the payment that was sent to me. Listen, you will get your username and password. All right. Anyone, once I've been cleared, I'm getting the username and password. I noticed that there was a payment that was sent to me by Mama Agnes. So I didn't send it to the clearance center. So I'm not talking about that one. The one she sent to me that yesterday or thereabout. Okay. But this one is in my database. You are getting your usernames and password this morning. In case if you are here, Iyabo, uh, Madam Bolanli, and then Chinya and Victor, okay, you are getting yours this morning. The rest of you, if you don't have your username and password, chat me up now or chat up your leader, all right? Please chat me up now, 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 now. If I chat me directly, I will give you your username, your password, so you can send your details for LinkedIn, all right? Someone like Mama Christiana Okoye, you can send me your own. You have two IDs already. Send me your own like that. Are you getting me? All right, you don't need a third one. Send it to me. If you don't have an access bank account, send me your access bank account. Go and open an access bank account and then follow the format for account linking. And then let's, let's link our account. Those of you that have started making money, start enjoying your money immediately. God bless you real good. Bye-bye.